day everyone my name is Ram Paul Pifunda so today I will report to you the final output in my subject or precision entitled obliques of accomplishments so I've chosen the art art form called the star night by Van Gogh so the intro is when I think about art, I think about my childhood art. I think about the clay pots I formed with my thumbs in my first grade. I think about the way the pack 64 crayons revolutionized the way I color in my color books. I think about my third grade version of Vincent van Gogh's paintings, The Starry Night is in my mom's bathroom when I painted it as a great eight year old. I enjoyed the piece of art for its simplicity, simplistic bright colors and the mere fact that because Van Gogh used paint to create it. I also to use paint. Now my feelings are mixed and they're, they've changed. I've experienced more life and more feelings since I was eight years old. And because of that, the way I look at the starry night is different. I believe that people see this painting. I listen to my peers talk with passion about the way up. A piece of art has changed their life or enhanced it. And I think to myself how and why I feel that way. It prostrates me that I can understand my own lack of understanding. I have walked through museums of art and been numb to feeling, attracted to only things my mind could comprehend or pieces that used bright colors. I was originally attracted to Starry Night because I remember painting it when I was young and gave me happy feeling then, but now, I was feeling more Vincent van Gogh is remembered for his everlasting artistic achievements, but he is also remembered for his insanity. So the importance, this image of this night sky dominated by the bright moon and bright and Venus at the center left van Gogh heralded modern painting's new embrace of mood, expression, symbol, and set sentiment. Inspired by the view of window, his window at the St. Paul de Mousy, as he bloomed in St. Remy in southern France, where the artist spent 12 months in 1889 to 90, seeking reprieve from he from his mental illnesses, the starry night is both an exercise in observation and clear departure from it. Skip ko lang sir. Conclusion. Vincent van Gogh is as well as renowned painter from the 19th century, most well known for his work, The Starry Night which he painted shortly before his death in 1890. Though he was not emotionally or mentally stable, he was a very passionate man who sought so to give all he had to anyone in need in his works as a clergyman and as a painter. Van Gogh inspired many people's works through his own. He works in an impasto style to make the painting have more of a three-dimensional effect and feel more real to the viewer. The extensive amount of emotional emotion put into the, into the painting has allowed many to form opinions in its meaning and inspire one to create base of his masterpiece. Motivation for audience of a given art form. The first thing likely to come to many people's mind in the fact that he cut of, of his own ear. 
This dark act committed in 1888 marked the beginning of depression that would plague him until the end of his life. But to now, Van Gogh is to get past the car caricature, caricature of the tortured, misunderstood artist and to become acquainted, acquainted, acquainted instead with the work, with the hardworking, deeply religious, and difficult man. Van Gogh found his place in art produced emotionally, visually, arresting paintings over the course of career that lasted only a decade. Largely self-taught, Van Gogh was produ Van Gogh produced more than twenty thousand oil paintings, watercolors, drawings, and sketches, which became in demand only after his death. He also wrote scores of letters, especially to his brother Theo, in which he worked out his thoughts about art. Always continue to always continue walking a lot and loving nature for that's the real way to learn and understand art and better he wrote in 87 1874 painters understand nature and love it and teach us to see it was a nature and the world living closely to it that first started Van Gogh's artistic inclination. In this, he was not alone. Landscapes remained a popular subject in the late 19th century art, driven in part by their dissatisfaction with the modern city. Many artists sought out places resembling earthly paradises where they could observe nature firsthand, feeding its psychological and spiritual re resonance into their work. Van Gogh was particularly taking the peasants he saw working the country or countryside. His composition featured portraits of Dutch peasants and rural landscapes rendered in dark, moody tones. Van Gogh moved to Paris where he encountered the work of Impressionist and Neo-Impressionist and the pointillist compositions of George Seurat. Inspired by these artists, harmonious matching of colors, shorter brush strokes, and liberal use of paint, he brightened his own palette and loosened his brushwork, emphasizing the physical application of Point on the canvas. The style developed in Paris and carried through to the end of his life became as post -impression, impressionism, a term encompassing works made by artists unified by their interest in expression, their emotional and psychological responses to the world through bold colors and expensive, often symbolic images touching upon the, ma the mind and temperament of artists. Van Gogh once wrote that he was very sensitive to color in its, in its particular language, its effect of complementaries, contrast, and harmony. So that's all for today. Thank you. Stay safe and God bless.